Transportable Shade Sheds Presents How to Build a Shade Shed Tools needed Sledgehammer Ladder Drill Tape Measure Pencil String Level Tin Snips Socket Wrench This training video will show you how easy it is to assemble a shade shed in a few simple steps. Step 1. Base Rail Assembly Shed construction starts at the base rail. Connect each base rail's end using the internal joiner. Ensure that all pieces are aligned. Place two tech screws on both ends to secure them in place. Follow these procedures to construct the other base rail. Step 2. Secure one of the base rail with the ground anchors. Place one base rail in position. Move it aside and lay a small bed of gravel where you'll be placing the base rail. This will prevent any moisture forming under the galvanized steel. Now place the base rail on the layer of gravel. Place the ground anchors beside the base rail, in between each section to mark where the ground anchors will be buried. Move the base rail aside and bury the ground anchors using a sledgehammer. Reposition the base rail over the ground anchors. Place the saddle plates over the bolts and screw them down in place with a socket wrench. Step 3. Assemble the portal frames. Construct the portal frame by slipping the pieces together using our slip fit connection system. Measure the distance across the top of the frame and across the bottom and make sure that they are the same width apart. Check the edge along the top of the frame if it's straight. Now we can place two tech screws offset on the swage. Spin the frame over and do the same for the other side. Use the first portal frame as template for the assembly of the other portal frames by constructing them on top of the preceding one. Screw them together exactly the same way as the one below. Step 4. Attach the front and back portal frames. Place two portal frames on the base rail, one on each end so that we can square up the two base rail. Measure the outer width of the portal frame from the top and bottom. Now adjust the base rails to match this measurement. Take the measurement diagonally across the shed and repeat on the other side. The two diagonal measurements should be the same. Now that the base rails are aligned, secure the other base rail to the ground by repeating the procedures in step 2. Step 5. The optional riser kit. When building on uneven ground, we offer an optional riser kit. This consists of a set of 400mm risers. Using a string level, attach one end to the bottom of the frame on the high side, then running it across the other side. Move it up or down until the string is level. Measure the distance from the string line to the bottom of the frame to find out how much rise you need to create a level shed. Cut the risers to size based on the measurement and attach them to the base rail on the low side. Step 6. Attach the other portal frames. Attach the remaining portal frames to the base rails. Run a string line on top of the portal frames to make sure that they are level. If a portal frame is lower than the others, just tap it up from underneath until it is level with the others. Do the same on the other side. Once all the portal frame is aligned, put two tech screws on each side of the joints to secure them to the base rail. Repeat this step on the other side. Step 7. Attach the tin roof. Place the overlap side of the tin roof against the side of the shed. Mark where the screws are going to go into the portal frames. Get another tin roof sheet. Put the first sheet's overlap over the overlap of the second sheet. Now screw the two sheets together at the marks that we've made on the first sheet. Place the sheets on the roof by sliding them up the frame and into the center. Align the roof to the portal frames using the marks that we've made on the tin roof. Screw each pan of the roof into the front frame. Do the same on the other side and then work your way into the middle. Now slide one sheet at a time up the frame, slipping them under the previous sheet. Screw the sheets together where they overlap to hold them together. Then screw them to the frame in the same manner as the center tin roof. Slip the tin roof that runs along the side of the shed under the previous sheet. Screw the sheets together where they overlap. 
Attach the side flashing. Now screw the side tin roof to the frame on each of the pan of the roof. Repeat this entire process on the other side of the roof. Step 8. Attach the end flashing. Snip the side of the flashing with tin snips, about 10 mm. Bend each side to a 90 degree angle. Then bend the top edge over into the center. Place the flashing on the shed starting at one corner, and screw it in place from the bottom and side. Place a cut through the flashing, at each of the high spots along the tin roof, so that you can bend the flashing around the edge of the tin roof. Screw the end flashing to the tin roof along various spots of the tin roof. Do the same on the other side, and overlap it over the previous tin, then screw the edges down. Repeat the entire process with the end flashing on the back of the shed. Lastly, remove all the metal shavings left from drilling the screws using a broom or vacuum. This is to prevent rust from building up where the shavings are. There you have it. Your transportable shade shed is now ready for use. Perfect for protecting your car, caravan, boat, and other vehicles. What are you waiting for? Big sale happening now. Short on cash? 0% interest free financing option available. Call now for the best deals and prices. Like and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to get updates on our latest content.